Tatras are quite special because these are the highest mountains in uh, Central Eastern Europe. The key features that I would say are most important about the Tatras is high level of biodiversity. I think it's quite interesting ownership structure in here in the Tatras. Most of the area is a state property. However, we have some uh, private ownership also here in the Tatras. Currently 71% of our national park is under strict protection, which is one of the highest value in Poland, where we don't do any intervention, we follow natural processes. This also has an implication on, on forests and strategies regarding disturbances. We have certain areas, especially in the lower mountain belt, where there are not natural forests and we have to uh, restore actually the natural fo forest. And we have, as I mentioned, a private property in this landscape uh, protection zone. They actually can do proper forestry. So they can actually do harvesting, timber harvesting. They can have income out of uh, selling uh, wood and similar products related to forestry. But this has to be done in a sustainable way. As I mentioned, 71% of our park is within strict protection zone. We have to remember that bark beetles, winds are part of nature, so we, we treat them as a part of the nature, there is no intervention. In the active protection zone, where we have, for example, still spruce monoculture, we do some intervention, for example, salvage cutting, we do planting of, of trees, of species which should, be, uh, should grow on such habitats. However, if we have an active conservation zone, there was a spruce monoculture there, which was disturbed by a wind, but we know that there is a place, a breeding place, for example, for capricale, for some very rare bird, or for example, for wolves. We don't go there because these species are more important for us, and we know that actually nature will do also a, a regeneration process. Maybe it will take longer, but uh, right now there is no need of intervention from our uh, side. As I mentioned, there is the third level of conservation landscape uh, zone, which belongs to the private owners. So they mostly do what is done in a sustainable forestry. So they do sanitation cutting, salvage cutting, and then they are planting trees. These disturbances mostly are in the most visible scale. They affect uh, uh, artificial monocultures. So they are actually doing the restoration, but uh, their goal, the long-term goal, will be also to take benefits out of this restored forest. Tatra National Park in majority is a big uh, wild laboratory, so actually we learn about disturbances, about natural processes out of it. We do a lot of research, so we follow the disturbances and we see them more as a chance than, than a threat, to be honest.